This British social ad Ghislaine Maxwell has been convicted of sex trafficking. Prosecutors accused Maxwell of luring teenage girls to be sexually abused by the American millionaire Jeffrey Epstein. The verdict capped a month-long trial featuring sordid accounts of sexual exploitation of girls as young as 14. During the days-long trial, four women described being abused as teens in the 1990s and early 2000s. This was at Epstein's palatial homes in Florida, New York, New Mexico. The 60-year-old was accused of recruiting and grooming four teenagers for Epstein between 1994 and 2004. The victims of the high-profile case spent years fighting in civil courts to hold Maxwell accountable for her role in recruiting and grooming Epstein's teenage victims. French-born Oxford-educated Maxwell was Epstein's shadowy right-hand confidant and accomplice. Witnesses said Maxwell facilitated, sometimes even participated in the abuse. A unanimous jury has found Galen Maxwell guilty of one of the worst crimes imaginable, facilitating and participating in the sexual abuse of children, crimes that she committed with her longtime partner and co-conspirator Jeffrey Epstein. The road to justice has been far too long, but today justice has been done. I want to commend the bravery of the girls, now grown women who stepped out of the shadows and into the courtroom. Now Maxwell dated Epstein for several years in the 1990s. The pair attended high society parties, traveled on luxurious private jets. She now stands to spend the rest of her life in prison. Maxwell has been convicted on five of six counts, including most serious charge of sex trafficking of a minor. Maxwell faces the likelihood of years behind bars. The maximum prison terms for each charge ranges from 5 to 40 years in prison. Maxwell could be sentenced to up to 70 years in prison for the six counts she faced in this trial. She also faces two perjury counts that will be tried separately. No date has been set for that sentencing yet. Now, Maxwell's former boyfriend Epstein killed himself in 2019 in a Manhattan jail cell while awaiting trial on sex abuse charges of his own. Maxwell's case is among the highest profile trials to take place in the wake of the Me Too movement. The movement encouraged women to speak out about sexual abuse by famous and powerful people. Victim of Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein's sex trafficking, Virginia Guaifa tweeted, and my soul yearned for justice for years. I hope that today is not the end, but rather another step in justice being served. Ghislaine Maxwell's defense attorney said that Maxwell's legal team has already started working on the appeal and it is confident that she will be vindicated. We firmly believe in Ghislaine's innocence. Obviously, we are very disappointed with the verdict. We have already started working on the appeal and we are confident that she will be vindicated. Everyone, be healthy. Have a happy new year. Mr. Maxwell, Mr. Maxwell, can we have a statement on behalf of the family, please? What is your reaction to the verdict? Uh, Sir? The, the family is going to be making a statement. Uh, the family is going to be making a statement later this evening. Thank you. Well, sorry, sir. What was your reaction? No, we're going to be making a statement later. Uh, Gillan Maxwell has been found guilty of five of the six charges against her including that most serious sex trafficking charge. She faces, for that charge alone, a maximum of 40 years in prison. One thing to note with all these different charges, five of the six she's found guilty of, is that these sentences, sentencing will be decided at a later date, but these sentences can be served either consecutively or concurrently. That will be decided um, at a later date, but certainly... Gillian Maxwell uh, will almost certainly spend the, the rest of her life in prison. She turned 60 years old in prison just last week on Christmas Day. Her family have long complained um, about the conditions they say she was subject, she's been subjected to over the past 18 months while she's been in prison at the Metropolitan Detention Centre in Brooklyn, just uh, across the river from here but it seems certain that she'll spend many, many more years and, as I say, almost certainly the rest of her life in prison in the United States. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, three of her siblings, um, were inside there to hear 
that verdict being handed down. Um, she has six surviving siblings all in all. She was the youngest um, of, of nine Maxwell children. She's the daughter of the disgraced billionaire, billionaire financier Robert Maxwell. She actually made her home New York after Robert Maxwell's death. Friends, those close to Ghislaine Maxwell, said that she went from... Uh, from the hands of Robert Maxwell into the arms of Jeffrey Epstein um, and that she was infatuated by Jeffrey Epstein. Many people describe it as an unequal relationship, that she was very much in love with him and perhaps he didn't have the same affection for her. The prosecution case um, throughout this trial has been that there were two sexual predators in that relationship, that, yes, it may have been predominantly Jeffrey Epstein carrying out the physical acts of sexual abuse, but on occasion, Ghislaine Maxwell joined in too. And the women who took the stand, all four of them say that they came from broken homes to some extent. They say that Ghislaine Maxwell identified their frailties and that was how she was able to encourage them um, to go to Jeffrey Epstein's various mansions, that it was her charm and her magnetism that made them feel safe in his presence. So uh, the jury certainly siding with the, the prosecution's case.